The temple base is a modded support tower where you can put any tower you want onto the temple base to make it a sun temple warrior. You can upgrade the temple base to give different buffs and abilities to your sun warrior to make them absolutely insane. Today, we've added the paragon, the vengeful temple base, which will take all three of the sun temple bases, combine them into one, as well as the sun warriors on every single one of them to create the ultimate trio of towers. So today, we're going to be getting every temple T5 with its respective strongest tower path and then combining them all into the vengeful trio that's going to be absolutely insane, my friends. By the way, guys, I have a creator code. If you go into your settings, you can go down to creator support and put in code TUTI, T-E-W-T-I-Y. And then anytime you do any shopping in Balloons Tower Defense, you'll be helping support me at no extra cost to you guys. I mean, it is actually such a cool program ninja kiwi's added all right so this is gonna be like our main temple base right like that's gonna be where the vengeful one's gonna turn into and i think obviously we need a ray of doom so we're gonna have it'll be a dartling gunner that we're gonna have there i guess i'll just put that there for now and it'll kind of like shoot down across so this is gonna be the temple we'll upgrade this one to daybreak so there's the vengeful temple base oh look at it the chosen's combined forces atop this ancient monument to unbridled vengeance oh that is so good. We need to think about what are the other two towers that we want to have all combined onto the tower. So I'm thinking Ray of Doom for sure. Ray of Doom. Maybe we do like a technological terror. Ray of Doom is going to have like tons of pierce. So maybe we, and it is going to be there. We could do like the tax zone. Oh my gosh, the tax zone would be crazy. I kind of want to do the tax zone. So maybe we have the Ray of Doom, the tax zone, and then we need something just for like massive damage. Something that just destroys Moabs. I mean, we could get an MAD. So we have the Ray of Doom, the MAD, and then just the Tax Zone to, like, just destroy everything. That might be the optimal play for us. What other towers could we get? I definitely think I want the Tax Shooter of some kind. I mean, I can always change, change it if I don't want, so I'm going to put that there. And so that has the tax zone. We are going to need a lot of money, though. So let's start going ahead, putting down those juicy banana farms, all right? This guy's already got 200 pops. He's doing great. I'm going to get faster shooting on that, actually. I think that's going to be way better. I still don't know what I want for the last tower, right? I don't know what's going to be the best option here. I really do want to get an MAD, but I don't want two Darling Gunners, right? Like, I feel like that's kind of boring. I think that's optimal, but definitely a little bit boring. Or... Or we could just change this guy, have this guy be the MAD, but I just want a Ray of Doom. I, I think the idea of a Vengeful Ray of Doom, just, come on, Vengeful Ray of Doom, that's, wow, that just sounds amazing. I don't, I don't have to make any decisions yet. I don't have to decide, all right? I, I can, maybe it'll, maybe it'll naturally just come to me and I'll be like, yeah, that's the one that I want to get. I could get like Legend of the Night, Vengeful Legend of the Night. The, all of these things sound so cool. And always, my friends. If you want to see more of these types of videos and more of the, like the temple base sun temple hit that like button and subscribe my friends turn on notifications we upload balloons videos every day here on the channel and i think only like 35 percent or 30 percent of people are subscribed to the channel that means 70 percent of people watching aren't subscribed to the channel what that's crazy my friends no i'm going to just get an alchemist i think that's like an easy and then I'm just going to lose, like, a couple of lives. Ah, do I want to get another? Ah, I'm just going to take the L. I can start working on getting the next temple base, but I still have yet to decide what I want. Oh, I haven't upgraded. What am I doing? I haven't upgraded the temple base at all. I can get, look at this. All right, piercing light. Oh, wait, let's upgrade this one. So I want this one. I can, I kind of sense it's military. I could go temple god sense because the Ray of Doom on its own is going to be crazy. So I'm actually going to get piercing lights and then damage by one and then this upgrades the damage it does to moab class balloons and then i can get speed of light so it just increases its attack speed or solar flares allows it to hit camo balloons and increases its range even further look at that so now it's attack shooter that can just hit camo balloons i'm actually very okay with that increases damage by one i don't care too much about this i mean i would like it but we need to get each of the respective t5s so i need to upgrade this to this and then i can get light on cash which reduces the cost of the upgrades by five percent these lead balloons are getting out of hand okay all i have is this one poor alchemist to deal with the lead balloons as well. oh my gosh wait i want to see what this guy can do to a moab now that it has the temple base upgrades i want to see if it just absolutely annihilates him i think it will so let's see what it's got and 
Can it pop it? It did pop it, but not all the way. I still have yet to decide what I want. Maybe we get like a Moab Eliminator. That just seems really, op that, seem that seems kind of overkill. It's either that or the MAD. The Ray of Doom, the MAD, and the Tax Zone. I think I want to do different towers for everyone. Maybe I have a different category for tower too. So we have primary and military. So I think we want magic. And this is the reason I want to say that. So the temple god sends. So it activate the full true sun god sacrifice attacks for the chosen's tower set. So what this essentially means is that whatever category of tower is on the tower or on the temple is what is going to activate for it. So you have your sun god temples. And if you have a primary tower on it, it shoots out like the glaives, right? If you have magic, it puts down the sun avatars. If you have military, it puts on the planes. So for example, we have a military tower uh, that's on this. So if we upgrade this, the plane's gonna come out because it's a military tower. If I sold this and put down a magic monkey, it'll start putting down sun avatars. So we actually wanna have one of every category. So military, we can have Darling Gunner. Primary, we'll have this. So we need to decide on a magic tower. So it's either super monkey or ninja monkey. And if that's the case, maybe we just get like an anti balloon gunner because the damage and crit, I think that's what we do. Oh my goodness, that's gonna be really strong actually. We're gonna need way more money. I'm gonna get some central markets up here. All right, give me some central markets and bada bing, bada boom. And I can just put a village right here. Can Wait, all right, is that in range? That's in range, that's in range, and that's not in range, and it should be in range now if I put down another village. Let's go. We're gaming the system out here. We're around 51, we're doing great. We can start upgrading some of these towers, right? So I can upgrade this to laser cannon. I'm actually just gonna get, there we go. We're fine now. And like this tower is getting all the pops because if we've got the temple balloons on this. So if that's that, and that's that, that means solar eruption. The Chosen's damage projectiles will cause explosion on first contact with balloons. This is going to be absolutely destructive. This is going to completely obliterate these balloons. I'm really pumped to see how far we can get with this. I think this is a pretty solid setup. What do you think would be the best three towers for this? Comment down below. Maybe we have to do another video series where we see which is the strongest trio combination for the Vengeful Tower. I think this is pretty top tier. Not gonna lie. Maybe, maybe instead of Ray of Doom, the MAD is just better. So you get like the MAD, maybe a recursive cluster? or Inferno Ring, or like a uh, Middle Path Boomerang Monkey. I think those are all very solid choices. We can start working on getting some more money. So I'm gonna get Tax Zone on this. So day breaks, $97,000. I need anti Bloom Gunner. We just need some more money. So this is gonna be Middle Path Upgrade. Let there be light, sunbeams, Avatar of Soul, and then Soul Incarnate. Oh my god, did you see that? That looks so cool when the when the tax shooter all right, I need to move this guy. I want to see the tax shooter shoot. That is so gnarly looking! Oh my gosh, it's just the explosion around all of the tax shooter. I love that. Alright, and then piercing light, sunburn. So I need eighty-two thousand dollars. We need to upgrade this. Tech terror twenty. I need woof. Woof. Sheesh. Ninety-seven thousand dollars for that. $82,000 for that, $75,000, $54,000, and $97,000. Let's skip some rounds so we can just get some crazy income here. Oh, look at that. Hey, we got money. Okay, so anti-balloon gunner, check. Ray of doom, check. All right, tax zone, check. And they're all on their respective upgrade paths. Okay, so now we can get the daybreak ability, and we can go ahead and up. I love that it upgrades to the T5 variant, the sun, t like the true sun god temple base. Around 80. Let's see what we got against this guy. And it just destroyed instantly. All right. Wait, I want to. Okay, let's just skip all the way up to around 100. I want to see how strong this is on its own right now. Look at that! Holy cow! It's gonna be, it popped a BAD. Temple Blessing, 54,000. Temple God Sense, 108,000. All right, so now we should, oh, we still need the Soul Incarnate. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna upgrade this actually to MIB just in case. And now Soul Incarnate. Okay, the Vengeful Temple Base. We need $648,000 for that. My goodness, that's a lot of money. All right, we can just, we're gonna skip some rounds so we can just get that money. I can turn, uh-oh, uh-oh, are we okay? Oh, I got it, oh, we need money fast. Oh, this is starting to get a little bit intense here. We're starting to struggle here. How much do we need? 648,000. I'm gonna sell these now. All right, friends, it's time for the vengeful upgrade. Let's go, three, 
two, one, boom. Oh my gosh. It's only level six, but who cares? So the, that's the eventual sun monkey. Oh wait, here, I can also have this guy like, look at all me pops he gets. Holy cow, here, let's sell everything else now. Look at the vengeful, like, orb. And so now that we have all three of the abilities, right? So now we have the four planes, we have the four magic monkeys, and we have the primary upgrades as well. And the sun temple base upgrades. Oh my, there's nothing's even getting out. Wait, what does the soul incarnate ability do? It turns all of them into the incarnates. That is so cool! Let's actually skip some rounds and see if we can get, put some pressure on. There we go. Round 100. Uh-oh, I might have panicked. Look at the tag zone! Look at the range of the tag zone! No, it lost! What happened? Okay, continue. I, I was I was memeing on us all. I wasn't ready. This Ray of Doom, I'm gonna say, is a lot worse than I thought it was going to be. Can we get round 170? Come on! Let's go! Oh, the BAD? Uh-oh. Oh, that was really close. That was really close. If you want to see more of this, though, maybe we can try some different tower combinations. Put it up against the dummy boss. Who knows? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow for some more awesome content. Bye!